So the next thing you're going to be able to do is to expand what you've been learning. You are going to work in quite a bit with addition, but now you're going to start to have to do addition, not just on your hands and, and, and your fingers, so to speak. You're going to have to start doing addition more in your mind and kind of recognizing some things that you may have to work with. So let's take this, these problems right here. We're going to pick out a few of these problems that, that you may know that you may be able to do on site. Let's see if we can take a look at them and guess what the answer is not. Now we'll do this here, but you'll probably have to do this in writing in school, but we'll do it here mentally just to kind of get an idea of it. So let's say if we had the problem here, three plus one, what would that be automatically as you see that? As you probably know, that answer would be four. Now what if we have right here, three plus two, what would be the answer to that? You probably know that would be five. You kind of have to write that. And, and three plus zero, that's going to give us three because three plus nothing. So you can kind of get an idea that, that when you're doing this, you're going to eventually have to translate this to many more problems and do this in, in, in a, in a kind of a, a, a short period of time. So you might get an answer, a question where you have, you know, 20, 24 problems on, on a worksheet and you have to figure them out and your teacher may make you do that. So this is something you're really going to have to work with. So what is three plus two? Let's see if we can figure that one out. Five. There you go. What's three plus one? Four. So right now we're just working on ones that add up to five problems that add up to five, but you're going to have to be able to do this a little quicker, and a little faster. And we're going to show you some more just a little bit in the next video.